Lucio may seem like an easy hero that doesn't require much skill, but Lucio has an incredibly high skill ceiling and important interactions that you need to know to succeed on Lucio. So once you watch through this video entirely and apply these tips, I know you'll be able to climb to GM. In this video, we will be going over Lucio's priorities and abilities, Lucio's ultimate sound barrier, the Lucio pairing guide, identifying a playstyle on Lucio, and other important tips like positioning, using map structure, and pathing. Hey there, by the way, my name is Shift and I'm a top 500 support streamer. I've managed to reach 4518 using these very tips that I'm about to tell you. Drop a like on this video if you find these tips helpful. This is the ultimate Lucio guide. All right, since Lucio is a button spammer hero, here are some priorities so you can get the most value out of your button spam. One, the speed aura actually does more healing than the heal aura. Okay, let me explain myself. Lucio's healing aura does 16 healing normally and 52 on amp for 3 seconds. And while Reinhardt can take 550 damage before dying, you know what has infinite health? A wall. If Ryan is taking damage, but if you amp the speed to get him behind a wall, boom. Now he takes infinite damage without dying. Using the speed amp will get you more value sometimes in heals. You should be amping speed when your team wants to rotate and move or to get away from damage. And you should be amping heals mid-fight when you need to actually out-heal damage. 2. Stop spamming your shift button to switch between heal and speed aura. I see Lucio's doing this all the time and it definitely is bad. Just remain on the heal aura when your team is fighting on a corner and have speed when you want to move. Have some purpose with which aura you want to be on and stop spamming the shift button for no reason. Pick an aura and stay on it. From the brain power you will not be using hitting the shift button, you can dedicate that power to something else. 3. Don't forget that Lucio can wall ride, but don't do it too much because it's an opportunity for you to feed. Wall riding on Lucio can be powerful mid fight to be out of range of certain ultimates and abilities and to get the damage in over a shield, but if you go too far ahead of your team, you will die because of how easy it is to kill you while wall riding. Also, you should wall ride out of spawn and use the momentum to get back into fights faster. This will come a practice, but eventually you can get great at Lucio rollouts to get back in the fight faster. 4. Boop the enemy in by wall riding above them and booping them in. While you just sped in your team, you can catch someone who's out of position and boop them forward into your team while wall riding. But be careful again, if you go too deep and too hard only focusing on trying to boop them forward, it's so easy for you to get caught out of position and for a Zari to beam you down, a Hanzo to headshot you, or a McCree to flash you. So have balance with this and make sure your team's in enough. Five. Do the boop, shoot, melee combo to get the most damage on someone. On Lucio, to get the most damage done to someone in a single moment, to use this combo. Boop someone in the air, giving them an easy trajectory for you to track. Then, shoot your sound waves onto them when you have shot all four sound waves, then melee to get an additional 30 damage done. Meleeing is quite important on Lucio, and getting in close range while doing this combo can help do extra damage. Six, and lastly, Lucio is a tank helping support. Like how Mercy, with the DPS I hero that wants to pocket them, Lucio is like that for tanks. Speeding around a Reinhardt can get you the most value and oftentimes you can hold your Reins hand and just speed him around the whole game and get value. All right, it's time to go more in depth with Lucio's abilities. Lucio has his Sonic Amplifier, Crossfade, Amp It Up, Sound Wave, and the Wall Ride passive mechanic. All of Lucio's abilities are quite simple and straightforward except for his Amp. Lucio's amp is what makes him so powerful in certain situations and able to completely carry a game with good coordination and timing. In the Lucio matchup guide, I'm going to go through the best situations for when to amp. I would recommend putting these settings on for Lucio. Hold to crossfade is definitely not wanted or needed, but allowing to wall ride backwards is essential to success on Lucio to make him more fluid and harder to kill. Wall jump on release was just recently added, but I would recommend having that off no matter what your skill level is. This will make it more dynamic with what you want to do with wall ride and it will start you out in the habit of pressing the spacebar to keep your momentum after wall riding instead of just letting the setting do it for you. I don't have any other weird settings like right click is jump and my spacebar is boop and that weird stuff so everything else is just normal besides having melee on a mouse button just like my break. Also since Lucio actually requires aim to hit shots I use this reticle to match the sound waves. It's just a nice touch and definitely up to your discretion for what you want to use. 
Lucio's sound barrier is one of his hardest things in my opinion. It is very variable on when to use it and to get the most value. Lucio's sound barrier requires the most amount of points to get in game and is the hardest to get. So when you're 85 to 90% on sound barrier, it's crucial that you build up that last percentage as fast as you can so you can use it. Don't be afraid to amp the heals to get that extra percentage and to keep poking with damage to get your ult. A lot of people think to use B to counteract an ult like a Graviton Surge, Dragon Blade, or Earth Shatter, and while this is true, it is just partially what you should be using B for. Since B is so hard to get value, at least take this quote away from the section. Never save beats for one moment, ability, or ultimate. If you think to yourself to save beat for grab, you were setting yourself up for failure throughout your Overwatch career on Lucio. You have to use beat when the right moment strikes, which is why it makes it so hard. If your team is low and you can save them, it's a good time to ult. If you need to go aggressive with an engage beat or to use it to stabilize, it can also be really strong. The thing why you shouldn't only wait for an ultimate is because the enemy team can mess up. Don't get me wrong, saving B for grab is very good and you should do that when you can, but don't only do that. If your team is getting hard focused and you can save someone with B, it could be strong just to use it so you don't lose the fight even if they have grab because they could mess it up by getting it eaten or they could just miss it entirely. Or they just make it so it has no value so no one dies anyway in it. I can't give you three tips for beating in the right situations but here are a few to help you out. B to save a teammate, beat an end gauge to go over and roll the enemy team, beat an ultimate, or B to stabilize. The ultimates you could save beat for is Diva Bomb if you feel it could save someone, Genji's Blade, Maze Blizzard sometimes, a Shatter, Sigma's Gravitic Flux, Soldier's Visor, Sombra's EMP, Winston's Primal if they're cornered, and Zarya's Graviton Surge. These tips are so general and philosophical, it's just gonna come down to getting the game sense of when to use it. Lucio can counter many heroes and can enable many heroes. Personally, Lucio counters these four heroes the most, Reaper, Mei, Sombra, and Tracer. The way you counter them so hard is by denying them any space and ground. When I play Lucio and there's a Reaper, Mei, Sombra, or Tracer on the enemy team, I hard focus them to boop them away from everything. Oh, Reaper's coming in close to my team, boop. Mei's coming in close on our Rhine, boop. Sombra trying to do damage, boop. You can also do this with Tracer because if you stay at a far enough range away but only shoot her and distract her so she doesn't shoot your team, you'll get value. It is okay for you to hard focus these heroes because if they focus you and you just boot them, they aren't damaging your team but you are still providing value to your team with your aura. Also, a cute little thing for Sombra is that it is so important for you to beat her EMP. You have to be all tracking Sombra's EMP and know what fight it is coming. If they haven't used it in about 2 minutes, they probably have it again. Hide around corners slightly away from your team so you can beat the second after she EMPs and save your entire team. It makes it a 5v5 to do this, as the Sombra's also out of the fight so it's important that you do it. You can also do this for Genji, but you more counter his ult overall. You can completely counter Genji's blade and Nan blade by saving amp and boop and then beating as he ults. You could do this theoretically without beat, but you should use beat if you have it. As he dashes to you, amp the speed and boop him so he loses his dash reset, making him obsolete. Another tip you could do with matchups is like on Brig, when stunning a hero to stop them from doing damage, you can boop enemies to throw off where they're aiming and save your team. But be careful though, do not boop people away that you need to kill from your team, especially if they are stunned so all your team can provide more damage. Okay. Now that we've had that out of the way, let's go over when to amp speed for certain situations, heroes, and ultimates. Amp speed against Ana's nano boosted target, Ash's Bob, Bap's Window, a Diva Bomb, Genji's Blade, Hanzo's Dragon Strike, Junk's Tire, McCree's Deadeye, Mei's Blizzard. This is a big one, so definitely save your speed amp to get out of Mei's Blizzard. Moira's Coalescence, Orisa's Supercharger, Farah's Barrage, Reaper's Death Blossom, Soldier's Visor, Torb's Molten Core, and Wrecking Ball's Mine. All of these are to create distance and or get around to a wall or hardcover to save people. There are two ways to play Lucio. You can either play Lucio as a rush hero that plays with Reinhardt and speeds around his team, or you play him as a bodyguard protecting someone with your boop and heals. 
The second way, bodyguarding is actually kind of antiquated though. So if you need to bodyguard someone from getting dove, just swap to Brig. Hey. So that just leaves Lucio as a speed booster for your team to close the distance on the enemy team. Playing inside your team, engage with a nice speed boost and carry the team to victory. And remember to play Lucio with rush comps really based around Reinhardt, but Rein Zarya, Rein Diva, and Rein Arissa can be really strong. But honestly, Lucio is difficult to get tons of value on unless you have a Reinhardt on your team. Most of the team comps without Reinhardt, other heroes like Mercy or Bray can get much more value, so take that under consideration. Also, a fun thing that you should be doing a lot is taxing your teammates back from spawn if you can. Speeding back enemies from spawn can help you regroup faster and make your team ready to take the next fight earlier. Remember, Lucio has this wall ride ability and can be essential to use that to get extra mobility and distance from enemy teammates, but never go too far ahead of your team wall riding to get killed. Lucio wants to play inside his team, not very solo based, so he can get the most value out of his aura. Lucio's wall ride is what makes him so slippery, and the best Lucios have the perfect balance between wall riding to stay mobile and ground play to stay hard to hit. This will come with more experience, but use that wall ride ability to get an advantage. Lucio is really good on control maps and any map that requires tight rotations, but open maps aren't the best for Lucio due to Rush being a bit worse on those. It comes down to what heroes your team and the enemy team are running in order to play Lucio in the end. Remember, getting GM, you need to be looking around as Lucio to get game sense and what is happening in the game and who is where. This can be so powerful on Lucio because as long as someone is in your aura, you are already providing value to them. Look on the flanks for certain heroes and distract enemy DPS while healing your team with the aura. Feel free to leave a question in the comments if you need help or come by one of my Twitch streams at twitch.tv forward slash holy shift kid. Thanks for watching.